In this video, we will look how one can migrate a website from a stage, which is a test environment, to the main website domain where your public website is supposed to be accessible to the world. So in this case, we have zengerly.swdstage.com as our test environment. And then here, as you can see, under drzmedicalclinic.com, there is nothing yet. The migration technique that we'll be using is a simple website backup with a plugin called Backup Buddy. And then once we have a full site backup, we will restore it on the target server. For that, I'm going to log into the back end of my test environment website. And as you can see, this is of course with WordPress, <clears throat> which is a, a backup buddy is a WordPress plugin. And then I'm going to come to my plugins and install the backup buddy plugin. I have a zip file that I can upload and then we'll install it. And activate it. And then I want to make sure to also enter my license name. So I'll find that information here in my password management system. Type in my username and password and then activate the license. Okay, that seems to be working. Now I will make sure that everything is up to date. So it doesn't look like there are any updates to be run, but just to be sure, I will go to updates. Nothing needs to be updated there. The other part that would be very important is to only have one theme installed. In this case, a Divi theme. Uh, a lot of times there are teams, the themes that are not needed that people have installed, and that only makes the backup larger than it needs to be. We are ready to run this backup. So I'm going to come to backup buddy backups. And um, <clears throat> later when we restore our migration, uh, we will need a password. So in this case, I will just um, make a password that I will need to know. And save that in the settings. Okay. Now I'm going to run the backup. So I want a complete backup and backup buddy is going to do its thing. Now it's zipping the files. The database was just backed up. Verifying the file integrity. cleaning up and we're done. So I'm going to download that backup file to my local system. And now what I also need is the import buddy file. This is the file that will have to be uploaded to the target server. So I'll download that and it will ask for a password here again. 
that we will need later. And this file is obviously important. Next up, we will have to upload import buddy file to the target server and then um, also upload the backup file. As you can see, I have the cPanel of my target server open and the SSL certificate is installed correctly. Everything is ready to go. I have my domain pointed to the cPanel and all the DNS records are set up as well. I'm going to use the file manager here. And then this brings up this window and into the root folder, which is typically under public HTML, I will upload the import buddy file here. And I will also import the backup file. Uh, as you can see, I can upload up to 500 megabyte here, so we can easily upload the backup file since it's only 90 megabytes. Gonna wait for that. Okay, so now I want to open an incognito window and I want to navigate to the import buddy.php file. So I need to know the name of my domain. So in this case, that is drzmedicalclinic.com. And then I will need to get my incognito window and then navigate to import buddy.php.com. Now, important, I want to do everything through SSL. So I need to prepend HTTPS colon port slash port slash, then the root domain name, drzmedicalclinic.com and then import buddy.com, uh, .php. As predicted, it will work. Here I will enter the password that I had been asked to set. And as you may remember, we just chose the date. I will authenticate and it's finding the backup that uh, the file that I uploaded. So um, <clears throat> I like that. I'm just gonna uh, ask to restore that backup. And backup buddy is restoring the files. Okay, so here is the database settings part where basically um, this is from the staging side and this is going to be the target server. So the database server localhost is very likely going to be the same. The database name, we don't know that yet. We have to create the database name and the way we do that is in the cPanel. Okay, and then the prefix we can keep now, if we did all of this right and we click next step, it should work. If we did something wrong, we'll be prompted to fix it. Let's see. This is a good sign. It's restoring the database. Now, this is a very crucial part here because we are basically telling Backup Buddy to rewrite all the references from the old domain name to the new uh, URL. So what is very important here is that the HTTPS is included. And then of course, the correct domain name. So that looks good. And I'm gonna move to the next step. 
And then <clears throat> now we're, we're asked to verify whether it's working. So I'm going to open this and let's see if that worked. Looks good. Uh, everything here seems to be working fine. Now, of course, you have to do a very thorough quality assurance phase where everything like the contact form and other features are tested again on the new target server. Going back to import body, we can clean up because it looks pretty good finishing the cleanup. And that's done. Now, I will immediately do a few very important steps in the back end. I'm going to log into the back end of the site. And since we did an exact copy, the password will be the same. The user and password will be the same as the one that was on your test site or on your stage. Log in here. Okay. The very first thing that we need to do is we need to come to settings reading and we need to deactivate this discouragement to search engines this was very important on the test environment but now that the site is live we want the site to be listed so that needs to be deactivated the other aspect that is very important is that we force https traffic um, that can either be done uh, using HTT access uh, rules, or we can use a plugin. I like to use a plugin that is called Force SSL. So I'm just going to install that Force, Force SSL. And the really simple plugin is used over 5 million times. It's a pretty safe bet to use that. And we'll activate it. And here, one more step, activate SSL. And we're done. Okay, this concludes this tutorial of migrating a website using Backup Buddy from one server to a new server. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, why don't you give this video a like and consider subscribing.